I bet you think I'm in a bedroom right now, or my bedroom, or somebody's bedroom, but I'm not. I'm actually in the studio and we're setting up, I'm so excited, we're setting up for get, to get ready for our big photo shoot and video, commercial, what have you, for our new bed sheets that we have coming out. And so I thought maybe people would want to see what goes into doing a studio. Afterwards, if you're interested in purchasing anything you see here, please do so because I'll give it to you at a discount. We've, it's only been used once for our photo shoot and um, I just don't want to have to haul it all out of here because it was kind of heavy. So give me a thumbs up if you like what you see and here's how we put together our studio. Okay, so the first thing I did was clean and prep my walls because paint adheres better to clean surfaces. Then I'm using putty to fill in any holes and around the light switch plate. I should mention I always wear my painting clothes, which are the worst clothes I can find in my closet because I always get something on me no matter what. So that's just a given. And here I am putting drop cloths all over the floor because chances are it's Murphy's Law. If I don't put a drop cloth down, I will spill the entire bucket of paint all over everything and have a big mess. With a drop cloth, you can just pick up the drop cloth and the mess is gone. I always start painting with the light colors first. In this case, it's the white trim. And the reason being is that dark colors can cover up the light if you slop but light colors, you have to go two or three times over a dark color if you happen to make a mistake. Normally I tape around the trim outlets and ceilings all at once and then I go back and paint, but in this case the scaffolding is so scary wobbly that I just decided to do it one portion at a time so I only have to get up there once. So I'm painting the ceiling and the corners with an edger, then I'm taking that same edger and using a putty knife with the edger to go around the baseboard trim. It just gives it that real clean cut look. The paint color I'm using is called Silver Strand by Sherwin-Williams and when you apply paint you're supposed to feather it out so it doesn't have that streaky look. This is my first coat of paint. It's going to actually take two coats of paint because the paint underneath it was so dark and I didn't use a primer. And here's my dog Jade. She's wondering why she's not the center of attention which reminds me to remind you to make sure you keep your dogs out of the paint because you have to cut it out if it gets on them because it doesn't just come out. And also that's the same reason why I tie back my hair so it doesn't get in the paint. Well, I managed to get two little paint dots right between Jade's nose, so I wiped it and she looked like a zebra for a while, but I should say you have to take it off your dog right away if, you, if it lands on there, and it did come out, but once it dries, it'll never come out. Next step is to prepare the floor, and by doing that, I just basically vacuumed because I'm putting over the floor vinyl tile. This is a studio, so I'm getting out the bed and putting on the feet of the headboard, just because I don't want a tile under the bed because then I'll just be wasting tiles. After I'm done with this whole studio, I have to take it apart and move it. So it doesn't pay to tile what I don't need to tile. I could see Jade scoping out the clean floor and she really seemed to like that. So I went and got her bed. That puts her in one place and maybe she'll lay down for a while so I won't have to worry about her anymore. See, there she's content now. I really like this queen size bed that I picked out. It's called Parkside Tuft Bed and it comes in a fabric smoke gray and it really gives it a romantic yet sleek type of look for the room. Okay I'm back to putting on the vinyl flooring. It's called Nexus and it's an ash gray wood. It's really inexpensive. They come in 12 by 12 tiles and you just basically peel off the outside and just stick it down. As I did this, I thought, wait a minute, I should get out the rug because that will mean even less tiles that I have to stick down. So I got out this wonderful dark gray Turkish Monaco rug. I love it because it's 9 by 12. It's stain resistant and easy to clean. So if we spill something on it, it'll still be good as gold. Next, I found this beautiful hand painted gray and white flower painting that matched perfect. It's two feet high, so I want to measure eight inches up and then center it in the middle of the headboard. Usually, because it's a headboard, you want it to flow up from the headboard. You don't want it to appear that it's off on its own. So to get the proper flow, it should only be about six to eight inches up from the headboard. I always use a level and I draw a line. I can take the line off with a magic eraser but I draw the line so it's always level and that way it never looks kittywampus. Okay, I'm bringing in the sideboards and footboards of this bed. You can buy it with just the headboard, but I like getting the whole 
sideboards and headboards for the complete look. And now I am just screwing in the slats and feet that hold up the box spring. And I got my handy dandy do-it-herself toolkit electric screwdriver to help me out. These modern and contemporary full leather white upholstered nightstands look really nice with the kind of curvy lines. And then I'm bringing in a couple of silver lamps and a couple accessories as accents. Again, I use a level to hang a silver curtain rod and a gray curtain with silver treads running through it to give the room a little warmth and to portray that there's actually a window in the room. I didn't want to use photos in the frames that I have bought for the walls, so I'm simply doing my own handy dandy little X and O for hugs and kisses to hang on the in the frames. Next comes the box spring which actually fit like a glove. I always worry about that. And then there's this mattress. It's one of those memory foams that is really good for you but uh, you have to take it out of the bag right away otherwise it'll explode the bag. Okay well maybe I'm over exaggerating a little bit but here you have it the entire set. It looks great as a bedroom but then you turn around and realize what the rest of the room looks like and it isn't too pretty. And there's Jade, of course, rehearsing for her part in the movie. So I hope you had fun watching me make this complete set. Now you'll have to watch the movie, and I'll let you know when it comes out by my Facebook page. So be sure to follow us and watch for our new sheets, Deborah Rochelle Luxury Linens.